Abstract. Dr. Rose Cotter, a specialist who was damaged by seeing her mom's self-destruction at age 10, takes a crisis meeting with graduate understudy Laura Weaver after she has confessed to Mount Wonderful Medical Clinic. Laura, who saw her teacher Gabriel Munoz club himself with a sledge only a couple of days sooner, quickly guarantees she is being spooky by a pernicious presence whose revile has consumed her life and nobody however her can see. Albeit Rose analyze her as having visualizations, Laura demands that the element has the ability to show up as others wearing a ghostly grin. Guaranteeing she is going to bite the dust, Laura unexpectedly goes nuts, then, at that point, starts grinning forebodingly prior to cutting open her neck with a messed up jar shard before Rose. One of the investigators who meetings Rose about Laura's demise ends up being her ex Joel. Still shaken by what she saw, Rose describes everything that Laura said to her about evidently being reviled by an insidious presence with an unpleasant grin. Rose starts seeing Laura grinning at her in different spots. The dreams rouse Rose to investigate Gabriel Munoz's self-destruction and she learns Gabriel was additionally grinning unusually preceding he passed on. Rose keeps an eye on her patient Carl Rankin, who was recently owned up to the medical clinic for a hyper episode. Carl grins unfavorably and starts undermining and frightening Rose, which makes her call security. Orderlies control Carl, however it turns out Rose just envisioned his forceful way of behaving. Accepting that Laura's stunning passing might have caused a psychological episode, Rose's manager Dr. Morgan Desai puts Rose on multi-weeks leave. Following one more terrifying vision of Laura, the security alert goes off while Rose is home alone. An administrator from the security administration apparently calls Rose with an insulting message. The genuine administrator calls Rose presently. After her life partner Trevor gets back, Rose sees her feline is absent. Trevor needs to quiet Rose when she turns out to be out of nowhere scared again while auditing sound from her meeting with Laura. Worried for her own emotional well-being, Rose visits her previous specialist Dr. Madeline Northcutt. Rose makes sense of she is having mental trips, which Madeline ascribes to Rose's long-standing culpability over her mom's deliberate excess. Madeline denies Rose's solicitation to endorse against maniacal drug. Rose and Trevor go to a birthday celebration for Rose's seven-year-old nephew Jackson at Rose's sister Holly's home. Visitors are humiliated when Jackson opens Rose's gift to find her dead feline bundled inside. Passionately demanding she isn't capable, Rose outings and falls through a glass table after one more vision of Laura panics her. With her mental soundness unwinding, Rose attempts to inform Trevor concerning the alleged revile that tormented Laura clearly being given to her. Trevor pretentiously blames Rose for acquiring psychological instability from her mom and of killing their feline. Rose visits Gabriel Munoz's widow Victoria. Victoria shows Rose Grimm portrayals Gabriel drew of a dull element he guaranteed was attempting to get inside him. Rose likewise learns Gabriel was damaged by the demise of his sibling quite a while back, and he started yelling about the revile in the wake of going to a gathering where he saw a lady commit suicide. Rose requests the lady's name, yet Victoria removes Rose from her home after Rose becomes stubborn that Gabriel was coming clean about his revile. Rose persuades Joel to help her keep interfacing pieces of information. Joel utilizes his police PC to get to a document for Angela Powell, who Gabriel Munoz saw bite the dust. That's what extra video shows, a few days preceding her demise, Angela saw a grinning man out of nowhere hack his own neck with planting shears at a service station. Rose gets back to find that Trevor called Madeline for a mediation over Rose's stressing mental state. Feeling sold out, Rose stomps out to take duplicates of Joel's records to her sister Holly. Rose takes a stab at informing Holly regarding the revile, which just prompts the sisters quarreling over Rose acting much the same way to their harmful mother. Joel calls Rose to tell her that further digging uncovered a chain of 20 comparable cases including observers to 19 suicides. The exemption was bookkeeper Robert Talley, who watched his colleague end it all. Rather than consequently committing suicide, notwithstanding, Robert killed a more peculiar four days after the fact. Multi-week from that point onward, the onlooker to Robert's activities ended it all and the example continued. Joel takes Rose to see Robert Talley in prison. During the drive, Rose lets a doubting Joel know that she thinks the element has individuals before they off themselves and she concerns her experience with the revile is practically up. At the prison, Robert secretly uncovers to Rose that the best way to break the revile's chain is to kill another person, however there must be an observer in light of the fact that the substance needs injury to get by. Robert out of nowhere overreacts when he understands Rose right now conveys the revile. Madeline visits Rose back at home. Rose understands the presence is mimicking Madeline when the genuine Madeline calls her on the telephone. Madeline's grinning doppelganger undermines Rose. Equipped with a kitchen blade, Rose drives to the emergency clinic. Rose encounters a dream of wounding her patient Carl to death before Dr. Desai, who then detaches his own face. 
The genuine Dr. Desai finds Rose in her vehicle with the blade and he attempts to bring help before she quickly drives away. Joel calls to tell Rose there is an APB alpha in view of the experience with her concerned manager at the clinic. Rose mysteriously makes sense of that she will go up against the substance and needs to be separated from everyone else so no observers can acquire the revile. Rose drives to her unwanted youth home where her mom kicked the bucket. Inside, Rose faces a dream of her mom, who blames Rose for permitting her to kick the bucket by not calling for help after tracking down her going too far. Rose blames her mom for being a harmful beast. The vision then, at that point, transforms into a lean animal that assaults Rose. Rose sets the animal ablaze utilizing an oil lamp. Rose then, at that point, gets away from outside as the whole house disintegrates. Rose visits Joel to apologize for including him in this present circumstance and for not being genuinely accessible during their relationship. Rose acknowledges she is as yet reviled when Joel grins frightfully. Rose escapes outside to find she never left her in one piece youth home. The genuine Joel shows up at the unwanted house. To safeguard him, Rose locks Joel outside while the animal pulls open her mouth. Joel breaks into the house so as to unfavorably see Rose set herself ablaze while grinning. Top cast Sozie Bacon Rose Cotter, Jesse T, Usher Trevor, Kyle Gallner Joel, Robin Weiger DR, Madeline Northcott, Caitlin Stacy Laura Weaver, Cal Penn DR, Morgan Dessa, Jillian Zenser Holly, Rob Morgan Robert Talley, Megan Brown Pratt 10 year old Rose, Dora Kismom, Jared Johnston Orderly Dan, Nick Arapa Perry Strong Detective Buckley, Jax O'Shea Carl Rankin, Judy Reyes Victoria Munoz. Yuri Johanna Sanchez Nurse Wanda, Vanessa Cozart Nurse, Director Parker Finn. Dr. Rose Cotter. What do you want from me? Why is it that everybody else who's seen it is dead and you're alive? I've seen it too. You... You have it? Get it away from me! Get it away from me! It's smiling at me. Carl? Not a friendly smile. Rose! The worst smile I've ever seen. <laughs> I am not gonna keep running. I have to face it. Rose. 